Hello students, in this video I will try to explain to you that how we can find the HOMO and LOMO LIG levels of materials. So this can be done experimentally or by computational methods such as TFT studies. In experiments, simply we can use a combination of electrochemical and spectroscopic techniques. Now I will apply these techniques on one molecule and we will find out the value of E HOMO and E LOMO. So basically we are going to use two formulas. The first formula you can see is related to E LOMO is equal to minus E into half wave reduction potential plus 4.4 volts. This half wave reduction potential is basically found through electrochemical techniques, uh, maybe cyclic voltammetry. And E LOMO is related to half wave reduction potential because it's the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital where the electrons are added to reduce a molecule. So that's basically E LOMO which is related to reduction potential. Now we have another formula E HOMO is equal to E LOMO minus E gap. This is simple because the band gap of material is actually the difference of the highest occupied molecular orbital and the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. Now this E gap which is optical we will find it by absorption spectroscopy. Now here is my molecule. I did the cyclic voltammetry of my molecule and the data of current and voltage is plotted here. So this molecule was basically getting reduced as a, our reading is starting from here and we get a cathodic peak and then a reverse anodic peak. So I will use this peak pair to find out the half wave reduction potential. Uh, half wave reduction potential is actually a fingerprint of a compound and it's basically the center point between two reversible peaks. So once I have this half wave reduction potential, I will put the values here and I can find out the LOMO energy level of my molecule. Now the second step will be to find out the band gap of the molecule. This I can do by the absorption spectroscopy. Uh, for this molecule, this is the absorption spectrum of the molecule and what I will do, I will use the peak that is most pathochemically shifted, uh, red shifted and I will find out the band edge and I will draw a line from this peak to here and from this point I will take the wavelength that this line will touch and I will convert this wavelength into the band gap. So what I will do, I will use this formula here, which is the conversion of the wavelength to the energy in electron volts. So this is basically a simple relation with which you can find out on the internet. E gap is equal to 1 to 4 0 divided by wavelength. So this is the wavelength that I found here and which is 589 nanometer. So if I put here, I will get the band gap of 2.1 electron volt, which is the band gap, optical band gap of my molecule. So once I have this, I will use this formula and put the value of band gap here. E LOMO, I already calculated from this formula using cyclic voltammetry and I can get the value of E HOMO. So these two experimental techniques can be used. It might not be 100% accurate, but it will give you quite reliable results and I, and you can find them in many papers people have used these techniques these are the simple techniques that are usually available for researchers and therefore uh, they are easy to perform and students can use them to predict the values of e homo and e -lo. the second important method which is highly used is the computational method using dft studies particularly which also gives very accurate and good E homo and E lomo values of molecules. So uh, I recommend using the experimental techniques in combination with computational methods. So it can be uh, done by different softwares, computational method, uh, for example, Gaussian, and it can give you very good results for homo and lomo energy levels. Uh, we can also find out the graphical form of the homo or lomo energy level, and we can locate uh, where the homo and lomo is basically located in the molecule. So in order to find out how we can do this calculation, please see my video uh, DFT studies using Gaussian to find out homo and lomo. Thank you.